Happy's Breakfast Club. <laughs> oh, Nana, Orange, and Kiwi. Oh, my. Nana, Orange, and Kiwi. Oh, my. Uh, um, <laughs> Ronnie. What are you doing? Uh, really? I mean... Damn, girl, you look fly! No, Ronnie, I told you to stop eating all the food on the breakfast club! Okay, bye! Ronnie! <laughs> <sighs> well, as you may have seen, just around the corner is Halloween, and we're ready to make some scary wee treats that you can prepare right now and eat. This morning, we're going to be making a Jack O' Lantern. Pretty cool, hey? <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. Really cool and really easy to make. I know I say all the time that these are easy to make, but literally, this is not, it doesn't take much work at all. So if you want to make these for Halloween, hunt in your pantry, in your fridge for these things. A nice big juicy orange or seven, three apples, two lemons, a couple of grapes, two teaspoons of cinnamon, some maple syrup, two tablespoons of honey, some nuts, dried dates and raisins. Now if, you have a lo now, if you've looked at that recipe and thought, I don't have all of those things, B, don't worry, because whatever you've got at home for your filling is fine. And this morning, I'm basically just going to use tomato, kiwi fruit, apple, um, and some banana, and of course, our juicy, yummy oranges. So the first thing you want to do is you want to prep your oranges. So now you've got to be really careful when you're using a knife. So if you're not confident, just get mum and dad or your older bro to do it. But you want to slice the top of the the orange and then get all the inside of the orange out like that being really careful as well and don't be too quick to throw those away because you're going to need them later for the filling of course so you ha should have something looking like that nice and empty and hollow uh, and then the next step is for the smaller knife you want to carve in your face so what I normally do uh, is I make two triangles for the eyes oh being really careful even though I'm a little bit nervous doing this um, and then you want to do your nose, so probably like a little triangle, and then the key is to get like a really scary smile, is like do a massive grin like that. And it should look a little something like this. So the last part and the fun part is where you can add anything you want inside. So I've got here kiwi fruit, banana, apple, and orange, and you can put in as much as you like, like so. I'm quite, I'm quite generous with my um, servings. So pop that in like so, put a little bit more in, there we go, and ta-da, that's what it should look like, and you just pop the top on like that, and it looks really cool when you've got heaps of them just lying on the counter, or you could have them as wee treats for people coming in Halloween instead of lollies, but to add another terrifying element to your Halloween treats, we have this here, and I call this Dead Man's Fingers, and this one... <laughs> Yep, pretty scary. <laughs> this one here, it's so easy to make. All it is, is literally bread, almonds, and some jam. The jam's kind of got like the little, to show like blood, gory, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So if you want to uh, make these things, all you've got to do is jump online to whatnow.tv. The recipe's up there. And don't forget, send us lots of pictures of, you know, your Halloween costumes or wee treats that you might be making. <laughs> Ronnie! <laughs> I dropped my ice cream. Oh, really? Hold it up, you big wuss. Here, have one of these. Ah! Hey! It's one of my most favourite fruits. But did you know that oranges don't grow in the wild, only in orchards? They were created thousands of years ago by breeding camellos and mandarins together. There are typically 10 segments in each orange. And get this, orange peels can be used as a slug repellent. And randomly, more orange trees die from lightning strikes than they do plant diseases. Oh, go figure. 